You're watching Gold Rush on a Russian. We're recapping the Season 12 episode, Rebirth of Monster Red. So what happened? Remember at the end of last week when Rick came to the agonizing conclusion that he had no choice but to wait to set up Monster Red until he got down to the final pay layer in Rally Valley? Well, at the start of this week, he comes to the agonizing conclusion that he has no choice but to set up Monster Red before he gets down to the final pay layer of Rally Valley. This is off to a good start. We watch him drag around Monster Red for a bit. There are a few excited shouts of, hey, but not much else happens. Then a brand new hopper feeder appears from nowhere, which is strange because all off-season it was made clear he had spent all his remaining money on a new dozer and upgrades to Monster Red. He must have paid for the hopper feeder with one of Fred's infinite life savings. After two days of running, he finds 43.53 ounces. Beers to celebrate? You better believe it. Tyson is given the job of setting up Slucifer at the Bad Cut. While doing so, there are shouts of hey and whoa, which adds quite a bit to the excitement of this episode. Shortly after starting everything up, they shut it down as the tail and shoot is getting backed up. They grind down a few high edges and all is well. And it's cleanup time. But nothing happened. Anyway, Big Red finds 190.45 ounces. Slucifer finds 192.05 ounces. Then we're reminded that if Parker doesn't get 400 ounces a week from Big Red at Mud Mountain, he's losing money. And because the gold totals have been so bad, Chris refers to Mud Mountain as Dud Mountain, which is actually pretty funny. Rainfall is causing Fred's settling ponds to overflow and he needs to raise his berms. Fred is forced to shut down, undoubtedly losing him dozens of dollars. Then a track comes off one of his excavators, and if it isn't fixed, and fast, a catastrophic flood may end all of mankind. Or so the show would have you believe. They borrow a track pin from a neighboring claim, and the excavator is fixed. Suddenly, and without warning, it then switches from fall to summer in order to have a touching scene of Fred's wife leaving to go home. That was weird, but not unexpected. Anyway, the cleanup finds 5.61 ounces. You heard that right. Fred goes to pay his 10% royalty to the claim owner, who surprisingly isn't impressed with Fred's progress and vows to investigate. Some real quick math here. Fred reveals that the 5.61 ounce total doesn't even cover his weekly fuel bill. So let's say it takes 6 ounces a week to cover his fuel bill, and his season is the typical 20 weeks long. That means he needs to find 120 ounces just to pay for his fuel. Not to mention he still needs to pay his royalties, pay back his investors, and recover his countless life savings. Remind me again how his season goal of 100 ounces makes any sense at all? Tune in next time when Fred loses everything he owns to his celebrity investor, Henry Winkler. Turns out it was just all a big Fonzie scheme. So horrible. Okay. Well, that episode was a barn burner. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed the episode, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe. Watch the old episodes, leave a comment below, and I'll be back again for more of this next week.